Hello guys, uh, today uh, we are going to see the interaction effect of two factors uh, affecting one uh, dependent variable. Mm, so first of all, uh, we just analyze our uh, data as it is, then we can uh, find any result like this, which means <coughs> you can you can see your result here <coughs> as you can see uh, these are two factors the first factor is to look and the, the, the second one is cell name and when we see the significance the f factor it is significantly affecting most of the uh, dependent variables to look and the second factor which is silly name silly same is also affecting uh, some of the factors uh, the, de the dependent uh, variables for example background law is significantly affected and the other one this one is also significantly affected which is uh, whenever the value is zero point uh, less than uh, zero point zero five, that's when we call it uh, significantly uh, affected. So uh, when we see the interaction effect, the interaction effect of two uh, factors, uh, when you see them, and when they affect the our uh, de independent our dependent variables. <coughs> we need to analyze it again in a certain way so that we can find the mean value of the interaction uh, result for example we can see uh, some of the parameters are significantly affected uh, these parameters uh, their f value is less than 0 0.05 those are significantly affected so when we see the um, mean value the mean uh, for the group uh, homogeneity subset we can find this uh, means which we we can for example say this is a, a this is a this one is b this one is b c and this one is c we can just you know say that this is significantly different something like that but now, here we can just say that this factor is affecting a certain uh, dependent variable separately not interacting with the other factor which is still the same in this case so uh, yeah we cannot find any uh, interaction effects uh, mean <coughs> so what we do is uh, we just uh, once we know which uh, uh, dependent variables are significantly affected by the interaction factor of these two factors we can go to the uh, data again then we can from the first column we can just create uh, inserts variable here we can insert then we can write one 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 Two, 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 three, three, three. Uh, why we are writing? Why are we writing this? Because uh, we have three uh, replications. We we need to replicate three times uh, each uh, uh, factor. I mean each uh, variables. <coughs> so. Yes, yeah, so, so we when we replicate each uh, level of the factors mm -hmm. three times, that's what we call it a replication. So since the replication is three, we just write one 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 two 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 three 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 four 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 up at up the end. Then we can find this one. We can write up until the end repeatedly three times con continuously one 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 two three two 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 three 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 up until 12 so that we can represent the interaction the interactive of these two uh, factors 
then after, once we write it we just go to analyze uh, general linear model general uh, multivariate because we are going to analyze uh, more than two uh, dependent variables so uh, as we saw these are some of the f the variables which are affected significantly by the interaction effect of our uh, two factors <coughs> which are uh, dependent variables so as a fixed factor we can take this the first column which we write one 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 two 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 three 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 then we can just simply take it we we, we are not going to take these two uh, factors as a as a fixed factor this two look and still same because this one will represent their interaction effect then uh, we can uh, if we want we can add uh, plots and uh, this one LCD Duncan continue um, options descriptive and homogeneity tests continue uh, yeah then we can allow, we can click on OK <coughs> So what we find, what we found here is that uh, we can find uh, actually the interaction effect of the two factors affecting this uh, certain uh, variable, uh, dependent variable in this case, so that we can uh, write interpretation out of it. So for example, we can say this one is significantly higher than the next one this is a and this one is b this one is b c b c and this one is c this one is also c we can uh, put it like like this we can put it uh, like on this table uh, so that we can interpret it interpret it uh, in such a way that this uh, value is higher significantly higher than the next one this one or this one which is this one is a and the other one is b so that w if they have different uh, later which means they are significantly different we can analyze it we can interpret it uh, in such a way after analyzing it by adding just one column before the data we have one column which is just simply one 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 two 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 three 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 four 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 the number of the you know the the number the 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 the, uh, the number uh, on which we can repeat the this values depends on the uh, replication we have we have three replication that's why we, we say we write three times each uh, numbers so that we can uh, represent our interaction effects the interaction if the effect of the two variables on a certain uh, dependent uh, variable by doing so you can uh, uh, analyze your interaction uh, effect you the the uh, experiment that we have uh, an interaction effect uh, uh, so the this is today's video uh, you can uh, like subscribe our channel for the future videos uh, the upcoming videos thank you for watching and have a nice uh, uh, day and goodbye